So the MSc in Aquatic Science is a one-year programme and we're aiming to give students an a introduction to aquatic systems, what they are, how they function, and then to give students a more detailed knowledge of how you transfer that into science and policy and uh, active work in the, in the conservation world. Field work is something we're really keen on, so we want people to go into the field. Um, we have as many field trips as we can possibly squeeze in and we have formal field trips which are part of the programme. We have three formal field trips which go to a combination of Norfolk and Dorset. The course that we're doing here is so far very practically based. I think that the contact with really top people in the world of aquatic science is quite unparalleled. We get to talk to them the whole time on a very informal and friendly basis and they seem to be pushing us quite hard as well so we're we're enjoying that. We're looking at um, this river in Norfolk to monitor the crayfish population. There's concern that elsewhere in Norfolk the signal crayfish from America is spreading the plague to the native species and they're dying out and so far we've found some young um, native species so they're alive and well at the moment in this stretch and no invasive species here. Anyone who is interested in conservation or aquatic science, water resources, this is a perfect course for you. It offers diverse aspects and we do deal with salt water along with fresh water. So it does offer something for everyone along with sort of marine conservation and river conservation. So one of the really fantastic parts of this course is learning all these vocational studies as we're doing here. So, okay, we went to the um, and collected the samples last week, as you would if you were a freshwater ecologist in the field, and we're coming back and identifying. So this is helpful for jobs such as working with the Environment Agency or Natural England. So my career plan has always been to become a researcher, hopefully in a lectureship position, and the Masters in Aquatic Science led into that quite nicely. It gave me the opportunity to conduct independent research, um, to get a real insight into what it was like working in the field. We like people to get involved in staff research and uh, postgraduate research, and we encourage people to go into the field whenever you get a chance, basically, because there's no better way of learning about the environment than there is going to the field. You see things um, as they are, you, you see species um, in the flesh rather than seeing photographs, and you see the environments functioning, and if you want to get good ideas, and if you want to get true understanding, um, you have to go into the field and that's why we really promote that on the course. I think there's no question about the course improving employability. From my cohort last year, those of us who didn't go straight into continuing research, um, people have found jobs all around the world doing all sorts of fascinating things. Today we are looking at the limitations of using different pieces of equipment in the field. So obviously no matter how hard you try there's always going to be inaccuracies so just getting some hands-on experience so you can be told about something but you you don't really realise until you actually use it what the problem's going to be. Well I think being at UC obviously it's one of the you know, best universities in the world so that has its benefits, you, you have access to so many different resources and there's so many societies and things as well and obviously in London. I think there are lots of resources in London which is really attractive, lots of libraries, lots of conferences and lectures that you can go to, lots of museums, lots of doing interesting things, it's a lot going on, it's an interesting place to study. If you feel passionate about aquatic conservation and you want to change things and you want to get in a career in that field, uh, please come and do the course.